Okay, so as we saw in the last walkthrough, um, we completed the cave course, and now we are um, gonna. And now Oak is telling us we have unlocked a new course, which is the valley. And it says the river is rapid. I'll have to concentrate hard, or I can miss a good shot. This, in my opinion, is a very slow course. Uh, I mean slow. Um, so some squirtles shells will appear right here. If you're if you're careful, um, you can um, use a pester ball and they will fly up onto the um, beach here. Up here you'll see a mountain that looks like Doug Tree. You can take a picture of it if you want to. I recommend taking a picture of it. Um, and there's a manky over here. Um, you can't really take a picture of it at the moment. There's another magic harp. Uh, hit the geodudes with a pester ball, and they will fall down, and then the sand tree will pop out. Like, like that. So, um, as you can see up here, there is a slam slash right there, and uh, uh, two geodudes and a golem. Okay. To knock these down, um, hit both geodudes with the pester ball really quickly, and then Gollum will fall down. I mean, Graveler will fall down. You can take a picture of Sand Slash, and then you can take a picture of Graveler. Uh, you gotta do it real quick. Um, there's Mankey. Ah, crud, I missed him. There's that Doug Trio Mountain again. Whee, here we go. Here's a Star Roo. You take its picture, and it's an uh, Indian will turn blue in the middle. Ah, darn it, I missed it. There it goes. There it goes. Now it's going to follow us. There's a Mankey over here. Um, and it's going to follow us all the way down. Until we get to this whirlpool down at the very bottom, right there. I can see it probably. Where it'll evolve and just farming. Let me picture that real quick. Um, throw some pester balls in here and a dratini will pop out. Oh, um, this squirtle. Right. Now, okay. It will hit the Mankey. Make sure that you're right there. So it'll hit the Mankey. Now, this is the best Mankey shot you'll get. This is one right here. Then you just throw a pester ball at it. And it presses down on that button. And so, this isn't a new course, it's more of a info deal, like what we need to do next to complete the game. Oh. So we'll see Professor Oak and he says, oh, hi. He's like, what a surprise to see you here. I suppose you'd like to know why I am here. Ah, well, I received some interesting information at the Pokemon Lab. It seems that there are six Pokemon signs hidden on this island. Now there are six courses, so what do you think you got to do? Find one in each course? Yep, you're right. Because they have something to do with important Pokemon that are here. The signs are scenery which seem to resemble Pokemon. One sign is a mountain that looks like Dugtrio. I came here to look for it. However, I can't go any deeper into the island, so I can't find it. Here, you s have you seen a mountain that looks like Dugtrio? Oh, I have an idea. If you find this Pokemon sign, take a picture of it like you would a Pokemon. We might discover clues from the pictures and the places where you took them. So, just go around and, um, since if you hadn't, um, taken a picture of the mountain already, um, just go back and take a picture. So, um... He's going to add a page to the Pokemon report on Pokemon signs. And now we'll see you back for the po um, next walkthrough.